Hello and welcome to another Excel video with Rich Kerr. Recently in one of my Excel classes someone asked is there a way to automatically format a range of cells without having to use format as table uh, which is a feature we talk about in another video where you can choose a format as table from the ribbon pick a style and uh, have some formatting applied it's a very nice feature and it comes with some other functionality like the ability to add a total row or the ability to do filters uh, but perhaps that's more than what you need and you just want some aesthetic changes to be applied in an automatic way so the answer to that question is yes uh, you can format a range of cells without having to do the entire formatting process in several steps like background colors or fonts or uh, font colors. Uh, there was a feature that was uh, featured prominently in earlier versions of Excel called Auto Format. And Auto Format is no longer on the ribbon, uh, but it still exists in Excel. So if you're in Excel 2010 or 2007 and you'd like to add the Auto Format feature to your Quick Access Toolbar, we'll go to the drop down arrow of the Quick Access Toolbar and choose uh, More Commands. And when the More Commands window appears, uh, I'm going to choose from uh, the drop down at the top that currently says Popular Commands. I'm going to go to Commands Not in the Ribbon. And uh, you don't, don't have to scroll too far to see Auto Format. So I will add the Auto Format icon to my Quick Access Toolbar uh, and click OK. Uh, as a sidebar, if you wanted to add it to your ribbon, you can do that in 2010. Of course, you can't easily customize the ribbon in 2010 uh, without an add-in product or doing some uh, programming. Uh, but in 2010, I can easily create my own custom ribbon tab by right-clicking the ribbon and choosing Customize the Ribbon, uh, at which point I could add my own tab. So, for example, I could choose a New Tab, and I could call my New Tab... Uh, I'll choose rename here and call it uh, Rich's Faves. And maybe under that, I'd have a group called Formatting. So every custom tab you create on your ribbon must have at least one, uh, one group of icons on it. So I'll rename this group uh, and uh, I'll call the new group uh, Formatting. And uh, so now I can add whatever icons I want including auto format so I'll go back on the left and choose uh, commands not in the ribbon and uh, then get the auto format command and add it to my new ribbon tab and click OK so in either case whether you've put it on your quick access toolbar in 07 or 2010 or on your own ribbon tab in 2010 when you click auto format you get a dialog box of different formats that you can apply and they just combine a series of borders and formatting elements uh, to the range of contiguous data where your mouse was when you selected the tool and you can customize that there's an options button where you can decide to apply everything but the numeric formatting or maybe you, you like everything except the alignment that comes along with a certain format I'm just going to leave it on the default and uh, the formats are broken into groups uh, that have simple names like list and list 2 and 3D effects 1 and 2. Uh, so I'm going to scroll through and I'm just going to go with uh, colorful 2. And uh, I'll choose OK. And there you have it. And that's what colorful 2 looks like. Um, the auto format tool also has some built in intelligence. So let's say uh, at the very bottom uh, I have a total and uh, of course it helps if I can spell right and then uh, I'll do uh, equals sum open paren and I'll sum up the amount column close paren and so now I'll rerun my auto format and uh, so when you have data at the bottom that is a total or some sort of formula it applies a different format to that row so let me go back to colorful 2 and see what that looks like now that I've added that total row and then just with a simple border uh, it separates the total row so that is the auto format tool 
it still exists and you just have to pull it from your list of uh, available commands uh, either to put it on your quick access toolbar or on your ribbon uh, thanks for tuning in and please come back soon for more excel videos have a productive day